Welcome to Works TV, your hospitality and tourism career destination. Create the career you want. Contact us today. Hi, I'm Tom from Toby's Estate, the senior trainer here at our espresso school. Today I'm going to show you how to make an espresso. In Italy, espresso is a way of life. Espresso is literally the Italian word, which means quickly. This is an espresso machine, but espresso is also a drink. Espresso is the basis for all the other drinks that you may be familiar with. Cafe latte, flat white, cappuccino, macchiato, etc. To be able to prepare all these drinks properly, you need to really master the espresso. So I'm going to take you through a step-by-step -step demonstration of how to achieve this, and I'll just take it from there. One of the most important starting points when you're making any coffee is that your cups are warm. Now, you would assume that they would be warm enough for them sitting up on top of the espresso machine, but to me this one feels like it's not quite warm enough, so I'm just going to add a little bit of hot water to it, just to retain its temperature, to improve the overall flavour and experience of the drink. Secondly, release the group handle, purge it straight away. Knock out the spent grounds, get the handle, wipe out the handle. Now, this is very important, can't be understated. You need to clean every single time. A dry cloth is adequate. Over time, you will get a bit of a build up. So you might want to wash out the spent oils there on the bottom. It's very important that the handle is dry. Then <coughs> I'm ready to dose. Now this is an electronic automatic doser, but it also has a manual function. I like to dose manually, I feel it gives me more control over everything that I'm doing. Grind the coffee. Now what I've done is make a little mound and I'm going to tap it. Two times. Tapping just settles the coffee down, spreads it around a little bit and I can see from looking closely that there's a few gaps on the edges there. So I'm just going to dose up a little bit more. Now you may get a bit of spillage. But what I'm doing here is what we call distribution. Spread those grounds around nice and evenly. There might be a little bit left over, that's okay. Sweep it off with a slight curve. Tamping, nice and gentle. You don't need to add a lot of pressure to it. It needs to be even and it needs to be level. There may be some coffee left on the edge. Wipe off the lugs. Purge. Lock the handle in, turn it on straight away. You may have <clears throat> anywhere from 8, possibly up to 15 seconds pre-infusion time. This is when the water soaks into the coffee, the coffee is absorbing the water, the oils are starting to move around, pre-saturation is happening. But from there on in, with the naked group handle, you get these drips start around the center, sorry, start around the edge and wind up in the middle, evening up to a nice even pour. What I'm looking for is the color change in the coffee and a change in the thickness of the liquid. Can take around about 35 seconds, but we don't like to worry so much about time or measure. It's really just a feel thing. Place it on your saucer with a spoon and it's ready to go. If you're looking for a career in the coffee industry, learning to be a barista is a great start. And there's no better company to teach you than Toby's Estate. With entry-level domestic courses for people at home who have a love and a passion for coffee, and professional courses with full certification for those looking for a career as a barista. Courses are available in Sydney, Melbourne, Brisbane and Perth, and they start from just $150. To book your place and find out more, simply go to tobysestate.com.au or call 1300 679 750. Remember to include your promo code works.tv and you'll get one kilo of Toby's coffee with every course you book. So go on, take the next step in a career you're passionate about or just learn more about making some great coffee at home.